investment fraud. And what happens? I'll say it's simple. Every con artist knows where to appeal to. So the investment con has mastered the act of alchemy. That's making magic happen. They simply appeal to your reasoning and then they try to make you to act irrationally. They appeal to your emotion. They know that it is within our emotions. Once they can grab that, that's where they can manipulate you. So they appeal to you, your emotions of fear, greed, and wanting to actually have something without paying anything or buying anything for it. They also know the value of trust in relationship. So to get you to invest, they need to get your trust. In bidding and getting your trust, they have to put up a facade. So you see them pick up the fancy office. You see them um, probably getting write-ups or bloggers or influencers who write beautiful schemes about their investment. It's all in a bid to get their, your trust. And of course, when they get your trust, that's where they strike. So really, it keeps happening because the con artist knows that our emotions or emotionally, we are greedy. And that's where they appeal to. So I'll say, to avoid it, is just put on your garment of reasoning. I'll take that to mean red flags to watch out for, to avoid being con of your money, or to avoid investment con. The red flags are always out there. It's just that we don't avert our minds to it because of the premise with which we are taking our decision. So they are nothing new. They are just simple. The first thing first, what you will notice the investment con will try to do is that he will always promise you high interest rates investment is guaranteed and there are no risk. First thing first, there are no, no investment without risk. And the simple rule for investment is the higher the risk, the higher the return. So if you have one investment with no risk and it's giving you very high return, you should take caution. You should be put on alert. Secondly, they will always prod you to take your decision immediately. They give you no time to think about the investment. So if you have any investment that is trying to tell you that, oh, if you don't take your decision now, between so-so and so time, this opportunity closes. You better take it now or else you'll miss it. Then he's trying to con you. He's trying to rush you to take that decision. He's trying to make you not to use your reasoning faculty. And as such, you probably enter into the pit hole with them. Thirdly, they might, or some investment will say, oh, this is an opportunity that just open for a selected few. It's exclusive. So you're among the exclusive club that is getting this kind of investment. Quickly grab it before the public knows. What they might say, the holy grail. It doesn't exist. Nobody knows the secret of any investment and shares it. It's in our nature to be greedy. So as an investment um, person or whoever is selling it, he will take the opportunity first rather than telling you about it if the opportunity actually is there. So if anybody is coming to you and say, oh, it is for the selected few, you are among, that's a red flag. Fourthly, if anybody is selling an investment option to you 
and he's telling you that you should put all your savings into that particular investment so that you can make so much return or trying to tell you the more you put the more money you make then you know that's a scam because as investment experts you should be advised to diversify your investment you should not concentrate your investment that's investment rule so if anybody is trying to make you just put all your money there put all your then that's a red flag don't do it and then i'll say lastly they will always not act professionally there will always be something that gives them a way in their documentation so look at the investment document that has been offered to you most of them are filled with misspellings most of them probably will be filled with um, maybe the contract term not properly written, inconsistencies. Just pay attention and look at it thoroughly. There are those loopholes. I'll also say that most of the investment um, sellers or companies that offer this investment are often not registered or regulated. So if anybody comes to you selling any investment and then who regulates you and oh i just registered the company and the cac then they don't have license to carry a such investment most times we all take some things for granted but when you dig deeper into the law in the nigerian law does not allow anybody to solicit for deposits from the public without being licensed the only body that can license any entity to take deposits is the central bank so if you don't have a license from the central bank invariably you should not advertise in any form to collect or mobilize deposit from the public when we say deposit now it could be in any form any any guys anybody you don't know you solicit to buy into anything with the purpose of gathering money be construed as deposit so the first thing first is who regulates you or under which license are you operating once they don't have that they are likely not to have permission to go into such kind of scheme and then you should know that it's a red flag. Going to pitfall or pit hole or letting your money go down, down the drain um, with scam investment. Well, like I said, identifying the scam investment is simple if we avert our minds to it. But again, safeguarding also is simple. All you just need to do is think and breathe. I'll say the first thing first is due diligence. Due diligence means scrutinize. In doing the scrutiny, you're looking at the company, you're looking at their history, you're looking at who regulates them, you're looking at if they have um, the license to carry out what they do. Simple things like this can probably expose a lot of things to you and then you make your mind. Sometimes you don't have the time to do enough due diligence to do this, to do that, especially when the person is pressuring you for time. Simply buy time. Time has a way of making everything to fall into place. So if you're not so sure of anything, buy time. So I'll say safeguarding yourself, you could also buy time. Another thing is what I will call lifting the veil. Simply means go behind and go investigate people who are behind the company. So sometimes anybody comes up with a company, pushes people out and then they are doing his bidding. But he's behind there like a masquerade pushing. But you can simply just go behind and go investigate who are the people behind this company, what are their pedigrees, what experience do they have, what integrity, where have they worked before. Simple things like that will probably give you an idea to know, oh, is this an investment scam? Just like in the news very recently, there was a news of a 21-year-old boy who had amassed 
money from people to the tune of over two billion. Twenty-one year old. First of all, if if he's a genius, twenty-one years it means he probably just got out of NYC. So for you to be able to manage such money or have a company you can preside over and then give direction, you must really be a genius. You must have built the company probably even before you got to university. So if people have done their due diligence, if people have gone to know who is behind the company, just even knowing the owner's age alone, it's a red flag. You wouldn't have done that. If you investigated his experience, Oh, what, where has he worked before? What has he done before? What kind of this? That will have been a red flag. People will have probably known that. So really, lift the veil and go find out who is behind the company. What do they have? What pedigree do they possess? What um, name? Do they have any name? What good name is behind this company? And then that gives you comfort. Again, which is almost the most important, is rationality. Invest with your head, not your heart. Like I said, the con artist will appeal to your emotion. Now, go to your head and think. And simple thoughts that you can put in place is asking questions like, how does this company make its money? So if you can say, oh, they made this money X, Y, Z, that gives you some level of comfort. Two, can this company sustain this return that they promise into the future? Does the economy support the level of returns that they are promising? If that makes sense to you, then great. Simple again, ask questions like, um, does the company have control over its products? Or is this company a middleman or into speculation? Which means probe the way they run their business. A company you have control over, you sell your products, you detect your price, you make money. Then you can't sustain, it's from what you make that you give people. But really, if you're a middleman, it means you get something here, then you don't have control over um, what you make into the long run. So you can't promise people certain kind of return. Because at the end of the day, if anything moves against you, you're just a price taker. You just, whatever comes to you is what you take. So, rationality. Sit down and reason. And put a lot of things together and connect the dots. If they don't add up, don't go into that investment. I would say that um, to fall or to safeguard our hard earned money from falling into the hands of a con investment star, or if I would call him a con star, is for us to invest with our head and not our heart. Let's devoid ourselves. Taking an investment decision, let's not make it with our emotions. Let's not be greedy. Let's know that whatever we have admires, it's, it's um, or let me say, let's preserve what we have made rather than trying to make more and double what we already have. When you have the mind of preservation, once you keep preserving what you already have and then you grow that gradually, that leads to wealth. Wealth might not necessarily come with the speed with which you gather. It is in trying to speed, trying to move fast, trying to do this fast that we tend to lose the little we already have gathered. So I'll say in conclusion, stick to your head or stay with your head in taking your investment decision and not emotions and not your heart. <laughs>